It's been a lot. I have never seen anything like it in my life. What can extension do for these people? That was the first thing on my mind. So how can we be most effective? So I thought, five gallon buckets. Buckets are as handy as a pocket on a shirt and I carry them at the office all the time. And within four days, we've collected over 156 buckets to distribute here in Knott County. She wanted to come and bring buckets and I said, yes, come. So each bucket has personal hygiene items, cleaning supplies, some publications from the University of Kentucky for how to clean up after a flood for those health and safety concerns. And we even wrote a little letter from Pendleton County just to kind of give them a little pep talk to say, hey man, we've been here too. And we believe in you. And this is our first level of flood relief. More is to come because they needed things bad. We didn't have power. We've sent a couple of crews with some buckets and cleaning materials out into some of the smaller haulers that really need all of the support that we can get. So we're taking the message to them. And today's really great for all of these county offices to come together and really rally to create a central place where they can get information, they can get a hot meal, and they can get a little bit of a bucket of hope to take home with them. We have served over 200 so far. One of the things that we wanted to make sure is that people could get a hot or a warm meal, especially if they've been without power for four to five days. You need a warm meal to just get your spirits up and going. There's at least two loads that are heading out. One will take 100 meals out to some of the really far-fetched areas, and then we're gonna take 50 meals down to the Frogtown area here in just about 10 minutes. It's very encouraging to see our state and our nation as a whole come together to help those in need. Every hauler has a little crooked, windy road, and some of those roads aren't there anymore. The hundreds of bridges that are here have diminished access. People have lost their vehicles. So it's really integral that we don't expect folks to come to us that we take it to them. Extension has always played a big role um, when we've had natural disasters. You can think back to the March um, tornadoes in 2012, the flooding in March of 2021, the tornadoes in December of 2021, and now here we are in July and August of 22. Extension is about working in your community, meeting the needs of your community, and this is what we're gonna be working on. Where there's a need, we're here to give. And then there's some folks who don't have anything to go home to right now. And sometimes it's hard to help them, so the biggest thing that we can do is show them support, connect them with the resources that are available through our federal, state, local, regional governments, nonprofit organizations, and just really rally behind them to give them that lift that they need to get through this tough part and figure out their next steps for the road to recovery. And this right here is where we're meant to be right now.